Hey, good morning, Choice Residential. Hope your day is off to a wonderful start. So one thing you've probably heard me say before is when you're communicating with your sphere of influence in your database, you need to be consistent in conveying the fact that you are an expert, but you also need to be thinking about how can you add value to their lives. And so I wanted to show you an example of an email that I sent out back in 2017. Uh, and I sent this out to all of my sphere of influence in my database. Hi all, as you are aware, temperatures are supposed to be getting into the single digits this weekend. Make sure to keep a slow drip on both the hot and cold water supplies in your faucets and keep cabinet doors open to allow warm air to circulate around the water supply. If you know of a vacant home, then advise the owner to do the same in addition to turning the heat up. If you have exterior mounted tankless water heaters, then keep an eye on these. They're built to keep from freezing, but if you lose power, then the components may freeze. Also make sure that all hose bibs are disconnected from the hose bibs or hoses are disconnected from the hose bibs outside. If anyone needs last minute ice melt, the hardware store across from Burke Brothers on Hillsborough Street had a healthy supply earlier this afternoon. You might want to check there first. All local Ace hardware stores are also getting resupplied this afternoon. Enjoy the weather as best you can and stay safe. So do you think that is an email that actually adds value? It's not just a, an email that has some kind of promotional material in it or a new listing. Um, when you send emails to your clients, if every time you do it, it is something of true value to your client, then you're going to have a fantastic open rate. If every email they get from you is some kind of promotional material, um, then chances are they're never going to actually open your emails anyway. Um, so this is just another example of how you can give value um, to your database and make sure that you're communicating uh, intentionally uh, with a purpose that hopefully makes their life better and demonstrates that you actually care about them. You're not just trying to get their business. So hopefully this is something that can spark some ideas for you. Uh, this is one that works in the wintertime if we're getting severe cold weather, uh, but there could be other emails uh, in the summertime or during hurricane season or whatever it may be um, with ideas that you can help them um, as homeowners. So hopefully this is something that helps you. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, put them in the remarks below. And until next time, take care.